So this one's called Snowmen at Christmas. Snowmen at Christmas. Snowmen. One Christmas Eve, which is the night before Christmas, I made a snowman, very fat and jolly. I dressed him up in red and green and trimmed his hat with holly. I saw his arms were trembling as if he couldn't wait. It made me start to wonder, how do snowmen celebrate? I think that while I'm snug in bed dreaming of Christmas treats, the merry snowmen slip away and hurry through the streets. This is what he thinks the snowmen are doing. They glide down snowy avenues with lamp lights all aglow, the sleeping city blanketed in freshly fallen snow. They pass by toy shop windows framed with twinkling lights, pausing for a peek or two at holiday delights. That's a good imagination. The jolly snowmen gather from everywhere around for a Christmas party in the center of the town. Waving to each other, they call out cheery greetings. All their friends and family so happy to be meeting. A few merry snowmen start trimming the square. Soon holly and icicles are strung everywhere. And then reaching high for everyone to see, they hang balls of snow on the big Christmas tree. They're decorating the tree. This is all in his imagination though. The snow children play freeze tag or red rover or climb in a stack till they wobble right over. The mothers lay out all kinds of cold treats, ice cream and snow cones and dainty iced sweets. Everything's made out of snow. Then the dancing begins to the tune of a fiddle. All the snowmen line up and sachet down the middle. Dancing. Someone says, hush, could that be a jingle? Then over the hill glides the snowman, Kris Kringle. It's a snowman dressed up as Santa. He opens his sack with a jolly ho ho and pulls out their presents, each made out of snow. Presents are made out of snow for the snowmen. It's really quite an imagination. I love it. Santa sips his cocoa. The reindeer romp and play. And then with a whistle, they're off on their way. Such fun snowmen have. But there's still one more thing. With hearts full of joy, they hold hands and they sing. While the fiddler plays and sweet silver bells ring, they sing songs about snow and the birth of the king. The children are sleepy. The grown-ups are yawning. The snowmen go home just as Christmas is dawning. The Christmas day is beginning. They're all back in their places with Christmas day starts, but these folks make, made of snow have a glow in their hearts. The smiles are more tender, their eyes softly shine as the snowmen dream dreams of their Christmas time. Merry Christmas! <laughs> so cute. All right. Real or make believe?
definitely make believe because the whole thing is happening in this child's imagination, the whole story. So it's a make believe story. And what is the setting? Are they at the beach? Are they at the zoo? Well, no, they're outside in the snow. That's the setting of the story. Characters, now there's not really a main character besides all the snowmen and the little boy, okay? And usually we like to retell stories also, like what happened at the beginning and in the middle and in the ending. The whole story, really, at the beginning of the story, the little boy falls asleep and he's dreaming about what snowmen do on Christmas Eve. And he has all of these wonderful ideas of what they could do on Christmas Eve. And then at the end of the story, he wakes up, it's Christmas Day, and he looks at the snowman and he's thinking that the snowmen look much happier now that he's made up this whole like dream about what they were doing on Christmas Eve. 